Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick video on some flippers. I had a request to just check out some flippers. And so I'm just going to run through these and kind of just flip them, I guess, and just show you what, what's going on with these. So, I'm going to start over here. This is a 560 ZT560 Blim that I had custom done with a Josh over at Razor Edge. A little choil pin in there, but listen to that snap on that 560. If you're looking for something that's hefty and flips nicely, 560 is the way to go. So there you go, 560 flipper. Very nice, great detent. Sweet flipping action. Very satisfying on the flipping. I'm going to jump down here to the CH3504, what I call the skull flipper. Just unbelievable flipping action. It runs on ball bearings and just just flips open like you can't believe. So very nice, very nice flipper. If you get a chance to get one of these, not too expensive. All right, let's go here to the ZT801. Oh, I've messed up that flip a little bit. Here we go. Once again, very nice flipper. Push button, light switch, whatever you want to do with this thing. This one's obviously a user. Had a little bit of blue anodization on there. But still a nice flipper, nice EDC. Just listen, I mean, just listen to it. all these ZTs. ZT knows what they're doing with the flippers. Oh, and here we go right here. This is probably, I don't know. This might be my favorite flipper here. The 452. The CF, I mean, just for that long of a blade, the way it flips open is crazy. That's this is awesome. You get a chance to get one of those, grab it. Oh, here's another 560, the non modified 560. Just want to show you. I mean, even with the bigger blade and no modifications, it still flips. Like a dream, detent's perfect, everything's perfect on these 560s. It's just a matter if you want something that big in your pocket, but holy heck. You can't go wrong for flipper on this one. Now here, now you're getting down to that perfect EDC flipper. Lightweight, flips awesome, it's just nicely made. Of course carbon fiber, you can't go wrong, but even with the non-carbon fiber, one of these. This thing is just awesome, the 450. Let's check this out. It, this is great. It's like the 452's younger cousin. Here we go. This is a nice one. This is the Kaiser Intrepid. This is the M390 version. Got a really sweet, sweet deal on this one. I did not pay anywhere near full price. This is a really nice flipper. Just, I mean, watch this, watch this. Unbelievably, unbelievably smooth, these Kaiser's. I need more Kaisers, I think. All right, let's go ahead. And here we go, down here to the Wubu Pocket Cleaver. I don't know, sometimes flippers are just cool because they're so big, like this thing. Just a big monster you don't think is going to be able to flip nicely. And, oh, messed that one up. But most of the time, these things just thwack right open. I'm sitting here trying to figure out I guess it's just a, maybe it's a fidgety thing with the flippers. Maybe it's, we don't have to tear our thumbs to pieces or on oh, this one. Oh, that timber line we've been looking at and everybody's been looking at. Yes, that's a great one. That is a cool flipper right there. That's such a great deal. I mean, I should just put all these with the great deals here. This one's a great deal. This one's probably the best deal here for flippers. If you need a flipper on bearings, with a good decent steel I mean right there look at that I mean I should have bought 10 of these these are awesome I need to give one of these away that's a good that's a good good flipper and another good flipper here inexpensive is this real steel sea eagle that I got in a trade with a buddy of mine on on here just just great just a great action both ways, look at that. Perfect action, that carbon fiber of course is really nice. Nice to look at, 
this is a great knife. Check that out, Real Steel Sea Eagle. If you want a nice flipper and you don't want to break the bank too bad. And then there's this one, the XIO Alpha Mark I. The heaviest flipper on this table right now. And this is one of those flippers that you just can't believe is a flipper. Something that shouldn't be able to flip open that nicely. But it does. Like You don't feel like you should be able to flip this open with one finger. But that's another thing. One of those satisfying, funky, thwacky flippers. So that's the Alpha Mark I by XIO. And then maybe the smoothest, smoothest flipper here. This is the 562. This is this. Oh yeah, yeah. You're not gonna beat that. The just with the blade, that grind or that slicer grind on that blade. That thing flips beautifully. I know I keep saying the same thing over and over again. There was somebody that requested this video. And why I do not mind doing this video. Because obviously I love flipping these things. I can sit here all day and do this. Alright. So if I had to choose one. Just one flipper to play with. Forever and ever. I'll probably choose this monster. Just because it's a monster. And it just flips. I don't know. I guess that's just the monster flipper in me. I might. I don't know. Man, all these are so good. This is such a good flipper. That just feels so satisfying. Something about flipping. I don't know. You tell me. Put a comment down there. What do you think it is about the flipping? I mean, of course, thumb studs and spidey holes and thumbnail lines or whatever they call those things. What do they call those things? Nail flickers or whatever they're called. Something about having a flipper. If Cold Steel ever makes a flipper, it's all over. It's done. I'm about to sell the car and invest in Cold Steel flippers. This one here. I don't know. 452. Check that one out. If you ever get your hands on one of these, don't ever let it go. That's a great, great knife. This one's a great knife. I mean, they're all really cool knives in their own right. I mean, if you're going to go kind of a budget knife... Let me take this woo This is just kind of a novelty, kind of a flipper thing. Not nothing. Just one of those heavy flippers. This is a great budget flipper. Great budget flipper. Great budget flipper. And sometimes you can get these pretty inexpensive on the secondary market. I think I paid a little bit under 100 for this. And this is a ZT. It's got ball bearings. It was in fantastic shape. It was just... A little bit worn down as far as scratches on here but the blade was perfect so if you're looking for something like that look on blade forms or any other secondary market make sure you buy it for somebody reputable but so I mean I don't know if you'd call that a budget especially not if you buy it new but you could probably buy that within a decent budget but those four in the middle there I mean Let's say you had to pay full, not full price, but let's say you paid 50 bucks for this. That is, look at that. That is well worth 50 bucks. And of course, I think this one's in the 65, 70 range. I think that's what that is, about 65, 70. That's a great deal on that knife too. 75, 80, right there. And you could probably get this, let's just say this is in the 100 range on the secondary market. I mean, there you go, right there, that's all you need. Four sweet flippers. Then you get a little bit more pricey. Oh, this video is running a little bit long. I'm sorry. I'll hurry up. All right. Let's say you got like 140 bucks. Just burn your hole, and you got to have a flipper for 140. You can get this all day for 140. I'm pretty sure. I think it's what I paid for this one. 140, something like that. Maybe 130. You can get that one pretty pretty good deal. Oh, no, don't bang into each other. So there you go. On the 140 range. This one, I don't know. You'd probably pay a little bit more. Maybe 170, something like that for that. This this one I had a bunch of work done. This is actually a blend, like I said. I don't know if you can see that just yet. 
So that's going to cost you a little bit more. I mean, a little bit less. The blend itself was really inexpensive. I think I paid right at a hundred for the 560 blem and then I but then I had a hundred and something dollars worth of work done to it so I won't be getting rid of that one and of course the 562 that was pretty expensive so I'm not sitting here and tell you what to get or how much to pay just kind of give you an idea what's out there as far as some flippers and like I said this is for somebody in the audience that that wanted a flipper video so there you go. This is your flipper video. Everybody pelt him with apples if you didn't want the flipper video. All right, everybody. Remember to get enthralled with the giveaway. Go check out the giveaway video for the 150 subscribers. I really appreciate everything y'all are doing for my, my channel. And if you're new here, subscribe here. If you're not new and if you are new, like here and then leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about flippers in general. Some people are flipper nuts. Some people are like, meh, whatever. Take it or leave it. And I will talk to y'all later.